I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone. My key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right.
Notice anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here? He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. Then he got back in his car and left. Huh. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mail for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. can get in through there. Huh. 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 Easy does it.
Hello? Anyone here? It's police. Who's there? Ugh, smells like death. Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ah. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. if you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. <clears throat> Ugh. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well... Somebody does. What was that sound? Stay behind me. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? 
Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Huh. Gotcha. Stand back. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. maze down here. This has got to be it.
This place turns my stomach. Things just get weirder and weirder down here. Goddamn small spaces.
sleep tight, motherfucker. is right. What's wrong? I'm here. Everything's all right. Yeah, it's a picture on the ground as a matter of fact, it's a 
So, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American! Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from. Currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but... I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. 
I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Hey, take a look. We've come to the end of the rainbow. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... Doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... It's me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. Even I could play this. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Hey, 
Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Do you play? Um, a little. right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. This seems a bit more lively. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, it's a little odd. Oh god, this is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. We've been invited here for a reason. And I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces as leather masks. <sighs> That's super comforting. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Stan. That wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, but only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, oh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only if you call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcendent. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential 
cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. A bit of nothing like illegal. bedtime reading. Obviously. Oh, obviously. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder Mill. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Huh. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink.
Uh, no, that's okay. You sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Thank you. 